all right guys what is going on back with another video and first and foremost shout out to the brother who uh saw me today out here in these streets acknowledged and let me know that he loves the content keep up the good work hey man i appreciate that man you know i was a little nervous at first because you know i didn't know how to react but i really appreciate you looking out and uh saying that you appreciate the the, the show and everything I, I i can't thank you enough and, and that's a good feeling man it really felt good i'm gonna keep trying to do my best to put this content out now let's go ahead and get into the topic that i wanted to talk about um one thing raheem morris and terry fontenot said well mostly raheem morris with him being around a quarterback like matt ryan and matthew stafford and even in some you know uh, jared goff and also a, uh you know baker mayfield it kind of give me a little inkling or it, it kind of made me think that I think I know what kind of quarterback that they're going to go after. And I don't think it's what everybody thinks. I think they're going to try to get a pocket passer that can get the ball to everybody. I think the, the offense is going to be catered to uh, concepts, the uh, route running concepts, um, you know, trying to get the uh, running backs in space running the ball with, you know, zone blocking. But with all that being said, I don't think they're going to get a, 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 a too much of a mobile quarterback. So now we're going to start thinking about is Justin Fields off the table? Is trying to move up to get a Caleb Williams or Jaden Daniels? Is that off the table? You know, is it a situation where Drake May might be the guy they may try to go up and get? What if they try to go ahead and say we're going to – we're going to stay at number eight and get Michael Penix. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I, it's something to really think about at this point because we know now they're not rocking with Desmond Ritter like that. Now, I know they're not going to be rocking with Desmond Ritter like that. That's just not going to be the case. Desmond Ritter is going to be the backup, maybe, you know, practice squad, <laughs> you know, something of that nature. Um, I really was in the camp of, like, they could probably try to fix him. But after the press conference and what they said about, you know, the familiarity about being around a Matt Ryan, Jared Goff, Matthew Stafford type of quarterback, I'm starting to think that they may not even go the route that the city of Atlanta is, you know, I ain't going to say they used to, but what the city of Atlanta and the Falcons fans are wanting to have, well, most of them anyway. Even throughout the Matt Ryan era, we wanted a more mobile quarterback that could move around a little bit. But I, I, I just don't think that's going to be the case. I really believe that they're going to get a pocket passer first and just by some chance that this quarterback is actually going to be able to move out of the pocket when needed. But it's not going to be a situation where it's, um, it's going to be his type of uh, situation that he's going to want to do that. Or they're going to have a game plan for him to be that type of quarterback. I don't I don't think it's going to be the case. And so what kind of quarterback are we getting? Or do we go out and get a Russell Wilson? Because even though Russell can move a little bit, I don't think he's going to be used in that way. Are they going to go actually go after uh, Kirk Cousins? You know, I, I, I personally at this point, I believe that they're going to go get a quarterback in draft. And I'm going to be honest, guys. Michael Penix might be that guy that's looking good for what Raheem Morris and them want. Now, I, that, that's just my gut feeling. I don't have any inside sources. I don't know anything about that. But I just think that with Michael Penix having a clean pocket, uh, with, with the offensive line and the running game we have, and the weapons we have, I think that would suit Michael Penix the best. He knows how to throw to receivers. He likes getting the ball to fast and physical receivers. So I, I, I just think that that's just where it's going to go. But with that being said, we want to keep all of our pass catchers that we can keep. So I know a lot of people are kind of looking into the whole Kyle Pitts situation. Because a lot of people are like, well, Raheem Morris didn't say anything about Kyle Pitts. I, I firmly believe, now this could change, but I believe that they're going to probably let him play his contract out. I don't think they're going to trade him. I, to be honest, unless if, they're going, if they were trying to move up in the draft, 
I would see them probably trying to trade Kyle Pitts. But I think I, I think Michael Penix would be right there for him at number eight. And I think Michael Penix will fit what they want to do. I, I mean, I, at this point, this is what I feel like. I don't think they're going to try to move up to get uh, Caleb Williams at the point, which I, I think that would be that would be the move. But I just don't think the I don't think the Bears are going to let it go. I don't. I think the Bears are going to keep that number one pick. And I just don't think Justin Fields is going to be the move either, even though that's a fan favorite. I just don't. I don't see it. But I would not be surprised if it happens. I, I think that what Terry Fontenot and Raheem Moore, especially Terry Fontenot, they have been known to just sit and stand pat, and stand pat with their pick and get the person that they want. That's what they did with B. John Robinson. That's what they did with Drake London. And, I mean, you didn't have to do much moving to get Kyle Pitts. But if they find somebody that they want, I think they're going to try to find somebody that they want at that position. They didn't sound like they're going to be really aggressive. They didn't sound like they wanted to be, you know, uh, uh, all in. Well, that's pretty much the same thing like aggressive. And getting the quarterback. I think the stakes and the the draft capital is too high. So I do believe that the Falcons are just going to sit here and, well, Terry Fonda and Raheem Moore is probably going to go at number eight and just take Michael Penix. That's based on everything that I've, you know, that I, I'm just trying to put two and two together. Do I know everything? No, I don't. But I just try to make sense of what is what is being said and what is being done. Things could change on a whim, but based on what they see with a pocket passer that can get the ball to the receivers, I think Michael Penix has the tools to do that. And I don't think they're going to want him to run too much anyway. He's not that much of a runner. So I, I, I think that I think that's I think that's where it's going to be. And if they don't get Michael Penix, I still believe they're going to try to get a pocket passer of some sort. So it, it, I, I just think, guys, at the end of the day, I think we're out of the Jaden Daniels sweepstakes. Uh, that's my personal opinion. Unless if Jaden actually falls to the Falcons and then they can pick Jaden or Penix. But I don't think that's their go-to guy off the rip. I just don't see it. Um, I, I, I don't see them trading their, their, their pick for Justin Fields or Caleb Williams. Looks like the Bears really want to hold on to that. Nobody wants to give up multiple first-round picks. I just, I just don't get that vibe from Raheem Morris and them. I just don't get it. So let me know what you guys think. Once again, shout-out to the brother who saw me today. I thank you for the kind words. You are, I mean, just awesome to know that people are really, you know, watching and supporting the show and just to see it in person for somebody to say it. That was pretty cool, you know. That's not the first time it happened, but you know, this time I guess it meant a little different because it the first time it happened while I was here in the Atlanta area. So that that's pretty cool. And um, let me know what y'all think, man. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for the support. I'm gonna get to the house, look at some things, and see what we're gonna talk about in episode 758 of the podcast, and just go from there. Y'all have a good one. If you're driving out here, be safe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, y'all. I'm out. Peace.